Hey guys, Coach Alicia here. Hey, today I just want to talk to you about um, how to do your measurements. I know at times that this can be one of those tasks that you just do not want to do. I know that there's some of you guys that I'm sure did not want to step on a scale, but you needed to to be able to um, calculate your caloric need um, for either the 21 day fix or the PIO or whatever program that you're doing. And so I just want to encourage you now is to get started in taking your measurements. In your workout book, you should have got um, somewhere in the book should be a spot where it talks about doing your measurements. Now this is the 21 day fix book and this is lined out where you can see a body of a male and a female. And this is a great place in which you can track your measurements. Now I highly encourage you to do this because here's the thing, what I've seen personally in my own uh, fitness journey, my weight fluctuates up and down within five to ten pounds depending on what exercises I'm doing depending on how my nutrition is and also depending on just uh, just normal hormones and other things going on in my life and so the scale doesn't always tell the full story so when you do your measurements you're going to do your before stats and you will see on there there's a spot to measure your chest your right arm your left arm your waist your hips your right thigh, your left thigh, and um, depending on what program that you are doing, you're going to want to do this um, before day one. Take your before pictures, and then you're also going to want to step on the scale and have a form of measurement. And then there's a place where you can calculate this. Now, let's say you're doing the 21 day fixed. What I would encourage you to do is wait at least, at least seven to 14 days before you step on the scale again. I know I'm freaking some of you ladies out because some of you guys are obsessed with the scale in a bad way. But what we need to know is that sometimes the scale goes up when we start a new workout regimen. And here is why. Your body is starting to go through some different changes and muscles are hurting and there's muscle soreness and there's muscle fatigue and there's you've trying to you know you're trying new foods and all these different things are happening with your body and so what happens is chemically your body goes into this mode where it means retain water and keep all the nutrients I need because what it, what is happening it, it's telling your body that your body needs to repair itself so please after a day or two of starting your workout program just don't step on the scale I don't want you to be uh, discouraged but if you do understand that the scale sometimes does go up now what I would like you to do though is if you are doing uh, the 21 day fix I would like you to do your measurements and then also on day 7 day 14 and day 21 do your measurements and you can step on the scale and we can have an accurate um, um, uh, point of reference of where you're at. And so also with some of the other programs, do the same too. All of them are a little bit different. Now for instance, for the PIO, it's a 60 day program. So you got 30 days and then you got, you know, another month to go. And so uh, I would encourage you to do your before picture and your um, step on the scale for day one and then honestly you can go 30 days and then do your way and you might be very shocked and surprised what it is that you see so that's a little bit how you can measure your progress I highly encourage you to do it and here's the thing I'm gonna ask you to to email me or send me a message a private message with your measurements and here is why I can help keep you accountable and then also we can help celebrate those wins I know it sounds so weird but the truth is is that together we can accomplish more and here's the thing I know I was in the same situation I started in a challenge group about two years ago and my coach said to me hey text me your before pictures I was like, heck no, you're not seeing my before pictures. <laughs> Stretch marks and flab and, you know, kind of having a baby. My body was just changed. But I'll tell you what, I kind of was like, okay, swallowed my pride and I figured, okay, what, else, what do I have to lose? And so I sent them off to her and I didn't even keep them. And then after I did my challenge group for um, 
for about 60 days, I started noticing huge difference in the way my body looked. So much so that I took another after picture and I texted her and said, could you send me that picture back? Um, so that I could do a comparison just to see. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, and my coach was able to help me stay accountable. And I promise I won't be sharing any of your before pictures or any of your after pictures, but if it helps you understand and know a little bit better that, hey, you know, my coach is with me, then, you know, please, please do so. And so I look forward to uh, being with you over the next several weeks. And together, we are going to see amazing results. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.